Do you believe that a creature once feared and revered across the ancient northern hemisphere, extinct for thousands of years, is now making its way back into existence? It's not a dinosaur. It's not the woolly mammoth, but something just as powerful and just as mysterious. We're talking about the dire wolf, a giant prehistoric predator that once roamed the icy plains, hunting side by side with early humans like the Neanderthals. And now, thanks to breakthroughs in ancient DNA and genetic engineering, scientists are working on something astonishing. The dire wolf may be coming back. So, what exactly was the dire wolf? This massive canine, known scientifically as Canis dirus, literally fearsome dog, was much larger than the gray wolves we know today. It could weigh up to 70 kilograms, with powerful jaws and thick bones built for taking down large prey, including bison, camels, and even ancient horses. Its territory stretched across the Americas, from Canada to South America, thriving for thousands of years through the Ice Age. In its time, it was the apex predator, the top of the food chain. But then, around 10,000 years ago, after the last Ice Age ended, the dire wolf disappeared. Why? Scientists believe it was a perfect storm of climate change and vanishing prey. As the Earth warmed and mega-herbivores died off, the dire wolf struggled to adapt. Unlike smaller, more flexible predators like the gray wolf or coyote, it was too specialized, too dependent on a world that was fading. Without enough food or the ability to evolve quickly, the dire wolf slowly vanished from the wild. Its bones, however, remained, especially in tar pits like those at La Brea in California, giving us priceless clues to its past. But just when we thought we knew the full story, Modern genetics revealed something surprising. Scientists recently sequenced DNA from dire wolf fossils and discovered that this ancient predator wasn't just a bigger version of today Aesi wolves. It was something else entirely. In fact, the dire wolf was not even a close relative of modern wolves. Its lineage diverged from other canines over five million years ago evolving separately without any interbreeding with other wolf species. That makes the dire wolf not just a lost species, but a lost branch of the canine family tree. Now, here's where it gets wild. Scientists are exploring ways to bring the dire wolf back. Using advanced gene editing tools like CRISPR, researchers are trying to introduce key dire wolf genes into embryos of related animals such as dogs or wolves. The idea isn't to create monsters or clone exact replicas. It's to rebuild the genetic traits that define the dire wolf, its strength, its resilience, and maybe even reintroduce it to controlled environments where it once thrived. It's a free twine as part of a broader scientific movement called de-extinction, reviving extinct species to restore damaged ecosystems and correct the mistakes of the past. But this raises a big question. Just because we can bring something back, should we? The return of the dire wolf is no longer just science fiction. It's science in motion. From fossilized bones, to genetic blueprints, to potential rebirth, the dire wolf S journey is a mirror of humanity, S ambition, power, and responsibility. Will we learn from the past or repeat it, this time with wolves at our heels? One thing is certain, the dire wolf story isn't over yet. It's only just beginning again.